Hey guys, it's Ryan Bridge the Bugman, and I'm gonna do another shipment uh, reveal for you guys. Um, I don't get too many of these, but when I get them, they're always fun. Now this one is especially cool because it's from somebody new. Normally it's either Steve or or Casey or somebody sending me cool stuff, but in this case, this is coming from Kiri Foreman. Uh, Kiri is a Facebook friend of mine. She's She's big into the bugs and the insects and all the fun stuff. Um, and she lives in Provo, Utah. And she offered to send me something special. Um, I'm not gonna tell you yet, but uh, you're gonna dig it, it's cool. Um, and I'm gonna do this reveal. Now, a couple things going on with this shipment. I brought this in, I, I, just, I was expecting it. She told me it would show up on Tuesday. So today's Tuesday and I was expecting it. So I was ready for it when it got here but I'm noticing this box. This box has got some minor damage to it and it also looks very much like this box has been opened and then resealed again. I can't tell, it's really heavy tape. Um, but anyway, it looks, it looks. now that might've been something Kiri did, it might not have been, I don't know yet, but um, hopefully that's not gonna impact what I, what I find in this. Um, but either way, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, Crack this thing. Oh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna use. I uh, wasn't ready for that. Uh, oh, that'll work. Okay, sorry, wasn't ready for that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and crack this box open and then we're gonna see what's in here because I know that I'm gonna like it and as long as it's alive, I think you're gonna like it too. So let's do this right. Good Lord. That is some serious tape they used. And Carrie, I don't know if that's your tape or not, but goodness gracious. It's like steel. We're gonna dull this knife doing this. Ooh. Um so we'll crack this thing open. We're gonna find out what's here. See how much fun we're gonna have with this. Uh, hoping that this goes really, really well. Yeah, this box has been open. I can tell right now. Uh, this box has been opened and resealed. So let's find out. Hopefully that's not a bad thing. Um, ooh. There was an ice pack. Very smart. Awesome, because with the temperatures, even though even though Pennsylvania isn't hot right now, normally it's really, really smoky right now. Because late summer is generally really hot for us. So actually our temperatures are down a bit, so it's not a bad day out. But you know what? If it took me a couple extra days to get home, um, this thing might have cooked in a mailbox, and that would not have been good. Now, I also would have had a neighbor or something come over and get it. So um, now I know that's probably it, but I don't know for sure. So let me double check to make sure. We're good. <laughs> nice. Plastic bags, recycle. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. So good job on you, Kiri. Good job for that. Um, okay, definitely different tape than what's on the outside. This stuff's opening real. What well, was really easy. Yep, super easy. So, definitely opened and reclosed again. Let me find out what's going on here. Ah. Oh, yes, outstanding. These are cool. Some of my favorites. Carrie sent me a pair. That means male and female. For those of you who don't know what that's going to be, Hercules beetles. So these are Western Hercules beetles. Uh, according to her, collected in Utah. Uh, they ran some black lights, I guess, and they brought in some beetles. I'm gonna get you guys a nice close look at these beetles. I have a male and a female in here. Awesome job. I don't know what she used for her substrate in here, but it's really cool stuff. It's real soft, real soft substrate. So that's kind of cool. Looks like it might be sand and some soil of some sort mix maybe some some peat moss or something i'm not sure but either way man two hercules beetles 
So let me get you a good close. Watch this. You're going to dig this. Super, super cool. Look at a horn on that thing. That's the male. Outstanding. And I can tell you right now, the people in my programs, my, my audiences, they love this stuff. They absolutely love these beetles. Uh, because one, they handle pretty well. They got their sharp little claws on them. So picking them off of people is a little harder than, you know, letting them climb onto somebody's fingers. But they still make a fantastic example of nature and beetles. And it gives my audiences one more cool bug that they get to pet, touch, and hold. And that is what my audiences are all about and all into. So, Carrie, job well done. Outstanding. Nice pair of Hercules beetles straight out of Utah and going into Bugman programs. Now, I have several big events coming up. I'll be in Clearfield County on Saturday, and I will be at the Hershey Gardens Bugarama on Sunday. And these beetles are going to be smoking for those two events. Going to be fantastic. So looking forward to that, man. So let me get you Hercules beetles. These are my favorite beetle in, in uh, the United States as far as I'm concerned. Now, there's some other cool beetles around, but these are some of my favorites that I'm able to use in programs. Some of those other beetles aren't so good for programs because they either fly too much or they run too much or they maybe even bite. But these guys, totally harmless. And the worst thing they got going on are those really sharp claws that you can get a good look at there. And there's claws dig in. But what outstanding beetles. And I kind of think it's cool. These beetles don't have a lot of pattern to them, which is kind of typical of Western Herks. But at the same time, nobody in my audience cares about colors like that. So, so that is not a concern to me one bit. I think it's just going to be outstanding that they're going to be able to touch, pet, and hold, and play with these beetles while at those events. And that is why I like entomologists so much. Uh, we get it, man. We're all in it. We're all in it for the same general causes. We like to educate. We like to impress and we like to get people jazzed up about bugs and insects. And what better way to do that than with cool beetles and especially ones that live here in the U.S. So that's going to be outstanding. I will, if they haven't already, now this is pro they're probably made it already. Whether they made it together or not, I don't know. But I will probably... Um, allow these two to mate. I'm going to set this, I'm going to set this aquarium up here in a minute and show you how we're going to do that as well. Um, because I want to show you how I keep these guys because they're super easy to take care of. They will probably, if she's not already mated, if she's not already grabbing, they will mate. Uh, there's not a doubt in my mind. Um, I'm not going to necessarily try to rear these beetles because I can't get enough food plant, enough of the, the stuff that they're going to feed on. Um, I can rear the Eastern Hercules beetles, the ones here in the Eastern U.S., but I can't get the food, enough food to keep these guys alive. So I, are the, the grubs alive. So I'm probably not going to better rear these things all the way through, obviously, but I can keep these beetles alive for quite a while because they love to eat fruit. And that's the thing about them. They're super easy. So let me get this, uh, let me get this set up and I'm going to take you through the process of setting this, this aquarium up that I'm going to keep these beetles in because I think Somebody's going to appreciate that too if you're trying to figure out how to keep these beetles around for a little longer. So stay with me. Going to keep getting fun. Okay, so first things first, let me give you a quick rundown. Uh, and no, you don't get to look at my ugly mug this time. So we're going to focus on this cool stuff. Um, this is just a simple aquarium. You can buy these for like, I don't know, 12 or 15 bucks uh, at most pet shops. I've already put in. Uh, about a cup or so worth of sand. And now I also added in some of the eco earth uh, and I'm gonna mix this kind of readily. It's gonna make a bit of a mess and gonna probably make my kitchen cloudy for a minute, but I'm gonna mix this up just to give them a nice even mix of sandy soil. Uh, that is what they're used to. So most of the Western, Southwestern stuff are going to be dealing with some sort of sand aspects. So I kind of give that to almost all the, all the insects and all the bugs that I keep from, from out West. So try to give them a sandy soil mix. Um, that's pretty good. I don't think I missed too much off that bottom. So I think I got it mixed up. Okay. It feels like it does. So that's sand and some eco earth that's just mixed together. 
Um, the beetles also do like to climb. They like to dig a little bit. So they're going to be able to get down in here. But more than anything, I'm just going to give them places to dig under and go to. So I'm going to lay a piece of peel bark in here. And this is stuff you can buy at pet shops. This is stuff that's probably, this has probably been used for a bazillion other bugs over the years. Um, you know, scorpions and different things. And all I'm doing is giving them places to go, stuff to do. Um, if they want to go under there and hide and stay there forever, they can do that. Um, if they want to crawl up on top and, and utilize this to, to crawl onto uh, and feel like they're getting somewhere special, that's okay too. They're going to be able to do that because I'm going to put this in here as well, kind of give them a place to crawl onto. Um, it just gives them something. Now, for aesthetics, I'm going to use some fake ivy. Uh, they honestly, look, you're going to see lots of people using fake plants, uh, fake cactus and fake, okay. That's all just ambiance that the bugs don't know what that is. They, there's no taste. There's no flavor. There's no anything to this. They don't even really know that this is in there other than that it probably gets in their way a lot. I'm putting it in for the sake of the fact that people are going to be staring at this, looking in here and looking at these beetles during my, my, uh, programs and my events. And I, I just want to give it some aspect of ambiance, a little bit of, a little bit of natural look besides the fact there's just going to be some, some sticks and bark and some wood in there and, you know, things that are obvious. Uh, we'll just kind of jam that stuff down. The beetles are probably going to end up digging this all out, loosening this up and creating a mess in here over the time. But, but that's okay. I don't care. I'm just happy to have those beetles. So I'm just happy to have friends like Kiri. So good on her and really, really good for me in this case. Going to lay this in here and give this a little bit of green effect so that people actually can appreciate things better. Um, again, the beetles and insects, the scorpion stuff, anybody using this fake subs the fake uh, plant matter and stuff like that, none of that stuff matters really. It's just, it, it looks good for us and makes us feel good, I think. It makes us feel like we're doing something special for the bugs. Um, and that's kind of it. So there you go, man. That is about as simple as it gets. I will eventually be putting some fruit in here. And that's the other reason I wanted this is because I'll lay the fruit up on top. I don't like to put fruit down in the substrate. Uh, if it molds at all, I can pick it off and I can get rid of the mold that's going to collect up here. If should any, should any collect. Um, and I don't like to mix it into the substrate much because then it gets lost and then I end up with mold growing in things. So mold is my biggest problem, uh, with most of my live bugs. Um, I find that mold is definitely probably my number one killer for a lot of stuff. So I'm going to put them in. Now, the other funny thing about this, you'll notice there's no, no lip to this really like a normal aquarium. This is one of the, it's, it's, it's sort of capless. It doesn't really have a lid, if you will, that goes, that, that works like normal. So it has these cool little things that snap on here and they're going to snap on each end. And they, they lock into play. And then the lid kind of lays on top. And it does, it does snap in. And these things twist and they, they, they will snap it in and lock it in. Um, but for the most part, this is all I'm going to need to do. I don't need to worry about big, heavy weight or, or keeping the lid locked down so much. These beetles are not going to crawl up here and knock this lid off and escape. I'm um, not worried about that. They're going to be focused here. They're going to be focused and digging around and playing around in the substrate and doing some occasional climbing feats, I'm sure, when they're, once they're in here and, and get kind of comfortable with their situation. Um, that's really all I care about. Let's put the beetles in, give you an idea what that's going to look like, and then we'll play one step further even. She's already dug down in again. Guys are funny. <laughs> He's in and she's in. And see, first thing they're doing is going right back down again. They're not going to hang around up top much. They're going to get down in. And that is how that works. So here's the top down. This will give you a good idea. I can even give you some nice close-up on the beetles as well. Kind of in a more natural setting, and that's kind of cool. She's going to plow around down here. Let me see if I can get you a better look at her. She's going to plow around down there for a little bit, and once she figures it out, she'll go places, um, like under there. And I didn't really try that, but I should have known that was going to happen. I should have done that because now she's going to hide. She'll go through there. She'll eventually... Pop out back here, 
and we'll see what she does. Oh, she looks like she's going to situate. So she's already pretty content there, maybe. And in the event that she decides she wants to dig her way out or dig her way down or just hide in there forever, she's going to be able to do that. Um, now, what I'm going to do with this leftover substrate is I'm going to take this leftover substrate and I'm going to dump it down here in this one end to give them something that is probably a little more natural for what they might be used to. I'm not sure uh, where Carrie got this yet, but I'll check with her and make sure. But this is definitely really nice. It feels sandy. So that feels like a sandy soil that I think will blend in real well with that as well. So we're going to do that. Make sure we use that. But now... The only thing we're missing are names. And that's where you guys can help. Because now I need to name these beetles. And I've got him. And I have her down here digging around, playing around. And they're going to need names. So if you can, go into the comments and give me some good beetle names that I can use for these bugs because every beetle every bug needs a name especially if it's going to be used for education and in my programs i like to have names that i can give these it helps people relate to them a little bit better it might even humanize them a little bit and that's not really ever necessary but it's still fun to be able to do it she's going to dig around and just go crazy in there so she's going to have fun uh, especially when i add and give her even more places to dig i think she's really going to enjoy that so good on us guys that is it I am all done for today's show, and you know what, man? Thank you so much, Kiri. Um, awesome. I got these two beetles, and within about three days from now, they're going to be put to work. They're going to be put on the clock, and they're going to be educating a bazillion people about the coolness of bugs and insects. So, guys, you know the drill. It's angry, angry, and getting maybe even angrier out there. So... Let's all be well, let's all be safe, let's all be kind to everything right now. All right, take care guys, we'll see you. Hey man, be sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you like what's going on here and you enjoy it, then help me out, all right? Thanks, I appreciate your support, take care guys.